serving. I'm serving. I'm serving. Bitch, I'm worth that. <laughs> I want to see the United States of America collapse and fail. And I don't give a fuck about Homeland Security. Matter of fact, send this shit to them. Fuck y'all. But yes, hi you guys. Welcome back to another video. Um, thank you guys for being here, for liking, subscribing, being here, y'all. Look at my hair. I was like, I was just cleaning the bathroom and I went on a walk, y'all. I am hot as shit. So I was gonna like do my hair for y'all <sighs> because I actually love it, but it's hot as the fuck so yeah um but we about to talk about kids point blank period i don't see enough going on so i'm gonna be the one to be out here and advocating for change okay <clears throat> also i'm gonna be the adult that younger me needed and i'm also gonna be the adult that these kids need because as a kid i feel like a lot of us weren't protected a lot of our parents didn't speak up a lot of our parents was well my word we don't speak about that type shit but me bitch i'ma speak about it okay fuck so we're gonna talk about like social media kid and kids we're also gonna talk about social media and the correlation with having babies that i that i think is going on and then yeah we're just gonna see where it goes but first and foremost i just want to say how are you guys doing with everything that is going on i hope that if you watch me that you're not falling for a lot of things and that you're not giving your energy to a lot of things okay these people know magic i'm gonna tell you guys one more time these people know magic they know how to energy harvest okay they know how they know a lot of spiritual secrets and magic okay please be careful the stuff that black people have when we were gods here for real for real back in times before even slavery and all that atlantis type shit yeah these white people in the government and the illuminati have that okay so be careful they're trying to take our energy with the police shooting with the election they want our energy they need our energy that is how they get so much power so please be careful okay these people are not powerful nor do these people do anything to help us. Women, kids, men, black people, nothing. So please wake the fuck up and think for yourself. So yeah, anyway, so yeah, y'all, did you see that um, the OG family had a prank video out and it was making its rounds again on the internet or like on social media? um and the family had came out and people was like calling cps on them and stuff like that so the family came out the mom came out and she was just how she was like how they don't do those videos anymore and that um i forgot what she said but she basically came out and she was all like oh you guys are wrong like that was a prank that was from years ago we stopped doing that kind of content i we are great parents blah 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 first and foremost i hope that we all are learning to stop putting your kids on the internet these kids are not content they're not a little hee hee ha ha here and there cool you know your kid is a conscious baby yes let's see it it's funny let's see it it's joyful let's see it your kid is making strides they're smart let's see it let's hear it i'm down but these kids are not content nor should you as a grown person have your kid as your content and you're making money off of your kid and that content and your family content i think that as a parent you're not doing your job when that happens there is no reason why your kids should be on the internet especially with all these pedophiles especially with grown-ass people especially with the digital footprint your young kids should not be out here. Those celebrities that are hiding their kids and y'all want to sit here and say, oh, why are you hiding your kid? Let us see your kid. Oh, we never going to see your kid. You're damn right you're never going to see my kid. Okay? I hope we are learning to stop exposing our kids. Stop exploiting them. Just because your kid went through something and it was a prank and afterwards you guys are okay, that doesn't matter. That kid was still traumatized. Kids do not understand the difference between sarcasm. They do not understand what really a prank is, you know, for real, for real. They do not understand that when you do things to them in the moment that they don't know whether you're kidding, okay? All they know is that you're dead ass to them, okay? So when this prank came out and the father, whatever, you showed her screaming, first of all, 
There's no way that as a parent, especially as a mother, you re-watched that video, edited it, and posted it. And there's no way you posted it, heard your child scream like that. Heard your child say that she can never trust anybody, especially her father, and you still put it out there? Girl, you ain't slick. Y'all not slick. I don't care whether you changed or not. It shouldn't be out there. And after you found out you were wrong, you should have took it down. Everybody stop playing Vic, though. So, yeah. Uh, I just want to say that because stop playing with your kids. Um, you put y'all putting your kids out here, your newborns out here doing this and that day in the life. These kids are going to grow up one day. I why are we forgetting that kids are not kids forever? Your child is going to grow up one day. They're gonna and they're gonna go to school, they're gonna go to work, they're gonna do this, they're gonna do that, and people are gonna be like, Oh, aren't you that kid that did this? Oh, da da da. That's gonna follow them forever. Hey, and your child is going to have to navigate and that's going to be something that's in your child's life forever that you simply could have either not posted or been took down. So yeah, let's do better for our kids. Like what the fuck? I am so confused. Why these kids cannot read? And I'm going to continue saying it. Why can your kids can, why can, why do your high school kids read on a fourth grade level? Y'all are so busy doing day in the lives of stay-at-home moms. You're so busy doing stay in the life of postpartum day one. I need day in the life of you sitting your kid down and having them read for 30 minutes every day. That's what I need. Uh, we don't need y'all out here trying to make it seem like having a baby is cute. Trying to make it seem like having a kid is cute and fun and games and nothing. No. This shit is serious work. Now you got young people out here having these kids because of what they see on TikTok, because of what they see on social media. That content is so big and makes so much money. Now you have certain people who are just having kids just for content. Y'all, please do better. I don't understand why your brains are not thinking all the way through. Okay? On top of that, everybody is so caught in their own lives. Everybody is so caught in running around circles about themselves that y'all don't even see. Project 2025 is already making this fucking rounds. Oh my gosh. Once again, your kids cannot read. Do you know what that means? Your high school kid is about to go to college. They can't read a textbook. Your high school kid is gonna go for a job. They can't read shit. They can't read nothing on that application. They don't, they might not even know how to sign their name. Now your kids are gonna be 18, eventually 30, 40. They're gonna have to do this and do that and they're not gonna know how to read? Do you know what that sounds like? It sounds like slavery. Y'all be making me mad, I'm sorry. Cause when it comes to the kids, I don't play. The kids are the future. You have to invest into your kids. That's why I said, excuse me, y'all. Excuse that spit, my bad. But that's why I said having kids is a luxury. If you cannot, if you don't have the time after work, okay, because you're so busy, excuse me, smoking weed or drinking or vaping or whatever the fuck, you shouldn't have kids, okay? Because when you come home, your kid over there meet, meet somebody on the ass, okay? Hello, did you do your homework? Let me see. Where's your grades? Be parents. And on top of being a parent, your responsibility is that you have made a whole new generation. Which means that that generation might make a whole new one. Okay, which means more and more, right? We know how evolution works. We know how reproduction works. Am I wrong? No, okay. But you right now are making choices based off of your parents or based off of you or based off of what people are telling you. Basically, you're not thinking for yourself. Your kids are watching everything you're doing. You're not thinking for yourself. You're running around in circles. They're either going to do the same thing or like I said with Cardi B, they're going to look at you like, damn, I want to be way different. 
there is no reason why as a collective and as a collective of black people that we are continue partaking in a government that was never here for us and i don't understand why nobody can see it i don't understand why everybody's still in their games and stuff these people continue going in office and each time a person gets to office, it gets worse and worse and worse. Barack Obama was in office eight years. You're in there eight years, eight times 365. How many is that? How many days you had to sit here and fix things? And the only thing y'all was worried about was obesity. You can lose weight. Kids can grow up and do sports. Kids, we grow up, you already see. Yes, as kids, we like to junk food, but now that we're, we're adults and stuff, yes. Now we're eating more foods, we're cooking more at home. Obesity is not forever. And then on top of that, y'all love these people more than you even love yourself. Y'all trust these people more than you trust yourself. There's no way that a white man is gonna tell me what the fuck I can do with my life, bitch. There's just no way. No way. You don't know me and I don't know you. And look at you and look at me. You think I want to be you? Please, okay? Wake up. Our kids need us, okay? So bad. Our parents did not protect us, okay? Our When we were younger and kids in school, the government and stuff did not protect us. Okay? Everybody's doing everything right, right? Everybody's going to school. Everybody's going to college. Everybody's getting a job. But the way of life for so many people is terrible. You have so many people going through depression. You have so many people going through anxiety. And it's not to say that that's a bad thing. It's not. But it is to say that that is what they want y'all to do. They don't want your kids to read. They don't want them to know how to read. They don't. Every new generation that comes is a new generation that is here for change. Is a new generation that's not going to keep putting up with the same bullshit. Please invest in your kids. Please do better for your kids. And please stop posting content making it seem like parenting is easy, it's fun, and it's a fantasy. Because it's not. That shit is real work. You are raising another human being and you are raising a whole nother generation. <sighs> so yeah. Raise your kids and be a parent. And if you don't know what that means, read a fucking book. Actually, everybody should be reading books. Because for some reason, there's there's just no reason that we're in 2024, COVID happened, a whole pandemic happened. Technology has changed in a lot of ways. I remember having a house phone before a damn iPhone. And I'm still in my early 20s type shit. <laughs> Change is happening rapidly and it's happening fast. I don't see how you guys are not seeing that or how people, other people are not seeing that. Like, and then I don't understand how we are just, how people don't educate themselves on things. Like, yeah, we have a government, but still look into it. You're just blindly trusting people. Read your own books, read your own stuff. Look at what other presidents did in the past and you will recognize patterns and you will recognize that these people are not here for you. So it's really not that hard. Educate yourself. By educating yourself and being a better person, you could be better for your kids. Okay? Now, and especially with the baby content on TikTok and stuff like that, now you have so many people and women who are getting pregnant and they're so excited and then they end up having a kid and they realize, oh my gosh, I was not missing out on nothing. We have to do better. Our kids do not deserve this. And they deserve way more. Okay? Y'all think Gen Z is angry? Wait until them kids find out that you let them fail. Wait until them kids find out that you allowed for them to be like that. We shall see. <laughs> but yeah, y'all. How's your summer been going? How's everything been going? Besides from all the stupid ass, bullshit ass craziness. Okay. And also let me know what you guys' thoughts are. Like, um, I don't know. Do you guys think that social media and parenting and stuff is something that, you know, 
I don't know. Just let me guys know your thoughts. But I definitely do think that I definitely believe that kids should not be on social media. You should not be recording your kids later on getting ready to post it, edit it, and make money off of it. That's crazy to me. You are no different than parents that sell their kids to Hollywood. Like, let kids be kids, but also have them be smart. <sighs> so, yeah. I guess that was all I had to say. But if you guys have any questions, let me know. Of course, I will answer. And, yeah. Um, the world is changing very fast. Um, a lot is going on because the world is changing. And if you ain't keeping up, you're going to be gone. You're going to be left, okay? All right? So, that's all I'm going to say. Please take care of yourself and take care of your own mind and heart and your own, you know, vibration, feelings, energy, everything like that. Because we are in spirit, spiritual warfare and it's a lot. That's all I'm going to say. It's a lot. <laughs> so, yeah, I love you guys. And please continue. Enjoy your summer. And keep having fun. And if you are following yourself and following your dreams, just know that I am proud of you. If you are here for another day, I am proud of you. If you are doing your best, I am proud of you. And if your best is doing nothing, I am proud of you. Whatever it is, I am proud of you. I love you guys. Please continue. Keep going. And like, for real, y'all. Do better in any way that you know how. And once again, if you don't, read a book. Okay? The black community, we're so quick to buy designer. And we're so quick to buy this and that. We don't buy books. I just read a, a thing about it. Like, black people, book buying makes up less than 1% of, like, what's it called? Our finances or whatever the fuck? Or whatever we spend on our spending? That's crazy. Okay? Everything you need to know is in a book. My dad taught me that. <laughs> But they like to keep books hidden and stuff because black people do not read. And that is why black people in the black community, we will stay stupid and we will always stay last. And we will always be the last group to catch up to something because we do not read. 